prayer for the 2022 national and local elections. Let us pray that the forthcoming national and local elections may truly reflect the will of the Lord who guides our nation. For every petition, let us pray together, Deliver us, Lord. Deliver us, Lord. From coercion, intimidation, violence, and terrorism. Deliver us, Lord. From dishonesty, lies, and all distortion of truth. Deliver us, Lord. From bribery, graft, and all conspiracy for fraud. Deliver us, Lord. From gullibility to the deceptive and blindness of perspective. Deliver us, Lord. From threats, intimidation, and perverse language. Deliver us, Lord. Now let our response be, Hear us, Lord. Hear us, Lord. That conscience may always be our ultimate norm. Hear us, Lord. That the common good may always be our highest goal. Hear us, Lord. That human dignity may be respected all the time. Hear us, Lord. That the poor and the weak may always have the priority. Hear us, Lord. That care for creation may never be ignored. Hear us, Lord. That solidarity may guide the path of peace and development. Hear us, Lord. That genuine fear of God and love of neighbors may guide those who seek public office. Hear us, Lord. Let us pray. Shepherd of souls and Savior of the nations, politics is your gift to us, a call to serve others and grow in holiness. Guide our politics as you guide our lives. May our political engagement for voters and candidates bring glory to your loving name and help us grow in holiness forever and ever. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, every time we celebrate the Eucharist, God makes us feel the greatness of His love for us. A love that always desires what is good for us. And so assured by this love, May we fully trust God, may we totally believe in Him, and may we faithfully follow Him, so that we may become less unworthy to celebrate this Holy Mass. Let us now humbly call to mind our many sins. Let us ask God's forgiveness, and let us entrust ourselves to God's merciful love. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, and you, my, my brothers, brothers and sisters, to pray, pray for me to the, the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, 
have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who teach us that you abide in hearts that are just and true, grant that we may be so fashioned by your grace as to become a dwelling pleasing to you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. Thus says the Lord, Cursed is the one who trusts in human beings, who seeks his strength in flesh, whose heart turns away from the Lord. He is like a barren bush in the desert that enjoys no change of season, but stands in a lava waste, a salt and empty earth. Blessed is the one who trusts in the Lord, whose hope is the Lord. He is like a tree planted beside the waters that stretches out its roots to the stream. It fears not the heat when it comes. Its leaves stay green. In the year of drought, it shows no distress, but still bears fruit. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed are they who hope in the Lord. Blessed are they who hope in the Lord. Blessed the man who follows not the counsel of the wicked, nor walks in the way of sinners, nor sits in the company of the insolent, but delights in the law of the Lord and meditates on his law day and night. Blessed are they who hope in the Lord. He is like a tree planted near running water, that yields its fruit in due season, and whose leaves never fade. Whatever he does, prospers. Blessed are they who hope in the Lord. Not so wicked, not so. They are like chaff which the wind drives away. For the Lord watches over the way of the just, but the way of the wicked vanishes. Blessed are they who hope in the Lord. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, if Christ is preached as raised from the dead, how can some among you say there is no resurrection of the dead? If the dead are not raised, neither has Christ been raised. And if Christ has not been raised, your faith is vain. You are still in your sins. Then those who have fallen asleep in Christ have perished. If for this life only we have hoped in Christ, we are the most pitiable people of all. But now Christ has been raised from the dead, the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please all stand. Your teaching is my 
The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus came down with the twelve and stood on a stretch of level ground with a great crowd of his disciples and a large number of the people from all Judea and Jerusalem and the coastal region of Tyre and Sidon. Raising his eyes toward his disciples, he said, Blessed are you who are poor, for the kingdom of God is yours. Blessed are you who are now hungry, you will be satisfied. Blessed are you who are now weeping, for you will laugh. Blessed are you when people hate you, and when they exclude and insult you, and denounce your name as evil on account of the Son of Man. Rejoice and leap for joy on that day. Behold, your reward will be great in heaven. For their ancestors treated the prophets in the same way. But woe to you who are rich! for you have received your consolation. Woe to you who are filled now, for you will be hungry. Woe to you who laugh now, for you will grieve and weep. Woe to you when all speak well of you, for their ancestors treated the false prophets in this way. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, who are blessed and who are cursed? Sino ba ang tunay na mapalad at sino naman ang talagang kawawa? The Lord, through the prophet Jeremiah in our first reading today, differentiates those who are blessed from those who are cursed. The Lord said, Cursed is the one who trusts in human beings, who seeks his strength in flesh, whose heart turns away from the Lord. Isinumpa at kawawa ang taong nagtitiwala sa tao lamang na ang lakas ay nanggagaling lamang sa mundong ito at ang puso ay malayo sa Diyos. Yan daw, sabi ng Panginoon, ang tunay na kahabag-habag, isinumpa at kawawa. And who are blessed? God said, Blessed is the one who trusts in the Lord and whose hope is in the Lord. Ang pinagpala naman ay yung nagtitiwala sa Diyos at ang tanging pag-asa ay ang Diyos. Yan ang tunay na mapalad. This helps us understand the words of Jesus in our gospel today. Our gospel is the version of St. Luke of the Beatitudes. Si San Mateo ay meron ding version ng Beatitude. 
mas sikat, mas popular na version, the eight Beatitudes according to St. Matthew. But in the sixth chapter of St. Luke, we could also read the Beatitudes, but in a different format. Sa Beatitudes ni St. Luke, apat na pinagpala at apat na kawawa. And in our gospel, we heard Jesus say, Blessed are you who are poor. Blessed are you who are hungry now. Blessed are you who are now weeping. Blessed are you when people hate you and exclude you and insult you. And then Jesus says, But woe to you who are rich. Woe to you who are filled now. Woe to you who laugh now. Woe to you when people speak well of you. Sa unang tingin, mahirap yatang unawain ang sinasabi ni Jesus. Paanong magiging mapalad ang mga dukha, ang mga walang-wala, ang mga maraming pangangailangan sa buhay, kaya naman nagsisikap araw-araw, magtatrabaho ng mahabang oras araw-araw para lamang may maiuwing pagkain sa kanilang pamilya. Yan ba mapalad? Hindi ba mas mapalad yung walang ginagawa sa buhay? Yung maraming kayamanan, ginto at, kaya, at ari-arian? Yung hindi napap, nagpapawis, napapawisan para lamang may maiuwing pagkain sa kanilang pamilya? Paano magiging mapalad yung mga nagugutom? Yung mga maraming kinakailangan sa buhay? Hindi ba mas mapalad yung nag-uumapaw ang pagkain, ang gamit, hindi nangangailangan ng anuman? Paano magiging mapalad yung mga tumatangis, yung mga nagdadalamhati, yung mga umiiyak? Hindi ba mas mapalad yung tumatawa at masaya? Paano magiging mapalad yung mga inuusig, pinahihirapan, sinisira, ibinabagsak? Hindi ba mas mapalad yung mga sikat, yung mga pinupuri, yung mga pinapalakpakan at hinahangaan? How could Jesus call these people blessed when in the eyes of the world they are truly cursed? And how could Jesus call these people cursed when in the eyes of the world they are truly blessed? Kung papipiliin tayo, anong gusto mo? Mayaman o mahirap? Hindi ba't mas pipiliin natin maging mayaman? Dahil sa tingin natin, kapag mayaman, pinagpala. Kapag papipiliin tayo busog o gutom, mas pipiliin natin ang busog. Kasi kung gutom ka, kawawa ka. Sino ba ang tunay na mapalad? At sino ang tunay na kawawa? If we use the standard given by God in our first reading today, we will understand what Jesus is saying. Jesus calls those who are poor, those who are hungry, those who are weeping, those who are persecuted and insulted as blessed because in their misery, they have no one else to turn to but God. Kaya pala sila mapalad kasi sa kanilang kawawang kalagayan, wala na silang ibang tatakbuhan kundi ang Diyos. Ang pagtitiwala nila sa Diyos ang siyang dahilan kung bakit sila mapalad. Ang taong marunong magtiwala sa Diyos, tunay na mapalad. And Jesus calls 
cursed. Jesus says, Woe to you who are rich, you who are filled now, you who are laughing now, you who are praised and are famous now, because their riches, their fulfillment, their happiness, their fame and popularity could be a reason for them to trust more on themselves or on other people than in God. Kaya sila kawawa kasi kahit na mayaman, maraming pagkain, masaya, sikat, ang tiwala nila ay nasa kanilang sarili, nasa tao. At kapag ang tiwala mo ay nasa sarili o nasa tao, kawawa ka. This is also what St. Paul tells us in our second reading today. St. Paul rebukes the Corinthians because some of them do not believe in the resurrection of the dead. Hindi sila naniniwala sa muling pagkabuhay. At sabi ni San Pablo, kung hindi kayo naniniwala sa muling pagkabuhay, paano kayong maniniwala sa muling pagkabuhay ni Jesus? If we only believe in life in this world, St. Paul says, then we are the pity we are pitiable, kawawa tayo kung ang tiwala lang natin ay sa buhay na ito. Ang tunay na mapalad, ang tunay na sumasampalataya, naniniwala kay Jesus sa kanyang muling pagkabuhay na siyang magbibigay din sa ating lahat balang araw ng muling pagkabuhay. My dear brothers and sisters, one who trusts in God is truly blessed. But one who trusts in human beings is cursed. And now we ask ourselves, am I blessed or am I cursed? Ako ba'y pinagpala o ako'y kawawa? Sa mga mag-asawa po, kanino ba ninyo pinagkakatiwala ang inyong pagsasama bilang mag-asawa? Bukas, Valentine's Day. Baka yung inyong pagsasama bilang mag-asawa, ipinagkakatiwala lamang sa pag-ibig ninyo sa isa't isa. Mahal naman namin ang isa't isa. Sapat na yan para matiyak na kami magsasama habang buhay. Kung ganyan ang inyong paniniwala, kawawa kayo. Dahil ang pag-ibig nating mga tao kumukupas, nagbabago, humihina. Kung ipinagkakatiwala lamang natin ang pagmamahalan ng mag-asawa sa ating sarili, if we say, we are the ones who will make our marriage work, then you are cursed. Kawawa kayo. Sa ating pamilya, kanino ba tayo nagtitiwala? Sino ang magbibigay sa atin ng magandang kinabukasan? Ang tiwala ba natin ay nasa mga magulang o nasa breadwinner ng pamilya? Kung dyan lang tayo nagtitiwala, kawawa tayo. Sa mga nag-aaral, mga estudyante, kanino ba kayo naniniwala? Kanino kayo nagtitiwala? Sa magulang ba na gumagawa ng module? Sumasagot ng module para sa inyo? Sa kaklase ba na pwedeng kopyahan? Diyan lang kayo nagtitiwala, kawawa kayo. Sa mga nagtatrabaho, kanino kayo naniniwala? Kanino kayo nagtitiwala? 
sa palakasan, sa pagsipsip sa boss, kung dyan lang kayo naniniwala at nagtitiwala, kawawa ka. Kung naniniwala tayo sa mga videos na napapanood natin sa YouTube, sa TikTok, sa social media, kung yan ang pinaniniwalaan natin at hindi sa mga libro, sa mga credible sources, at sa mga dalubhasa, kawawa ka. Kung ayaw mong magpabakuna dahil napanood mo sa TikTok, pag nagpabakuna, magiging zombie, no? eh, kawawa ka. Kung ang pinaniniwalaan mo ay mabubulaklak na mga salita at hindi yung mabubuting gawa, kung mas naniniwala ka sa pangako kaysa sa mga ginawa na, kawawa ka. Kung ikaw ay isang dalaga at may nang mga nangliligaw sa iyo, sabi ng isang manliligaw mo, ipinapangako ko sa iyo, kapag pinili mo ako, kapag pinakasalan mo ako, hindi kita iiwan, tutulungan kita, palagi akong nasa tabi mo. Pero meron din namang nangliligaw na ah, hindi lang ipinapangako, ginagawa na ngayon, sinasamahan ka na sa lahat ng pagkakataon sa iyong buhay. Yung isa nagsasabing, ipagluluto kita kapag pinakasalan mo ako. Pero itong isa, ngayon pa lang ipinagluluto ka na ng masarap na pagkain. Mas pipiliin mo ba yung pangako kaysa sa gawa? Kung tayo'y maniniwala sa mabulak, mabubulaklak na salita kaysa sa mabubuting gawa, ikawawa e tayo. Kung mas naniniwala tayo sa mga pamamaraang baluktot, sa mga pamamaraang mali, na pilit na ipinapakitang tama, kaysa sa tama, kawawa tayo. Kung mas pinipili natin ang kasamaan kaysa sa pagiging matuwid, makatarungan, makatotohanan, disente at mabuti, kawawa tayo. Pero kung ang tiwala natin ay nasa Diyos at nasa mga taong tunay na makadiyos, mapalad tayo. Tayo ba'y kawawa o tayo'y pinagpala? Going back to our first reading today, Jeremiah, the Lord through the prophet Jeremiah, uses a beautiful imagery in order to explain that those who are cursed, those who do not trust God are cursed, and those who trust God are blessed. Sabi ng Panginoon, yung mga hindi nagtitiwala sa Diyos, yung mga ang pinagkakatiwalaan at pinaniniwalaan ay tao at mga bagay sa mundong ito para silang halaman na natanim sa ilang, sa disyerto, sa lupang tigang. Sabi ng Panginoon, walang mabuting mangyayari sa Kanya. Kapag pala wala tayong tiwala sa Diyos, wala tayong kahihinat ng mabuti. Kung ang tiwala lang natin sa ating sarili o sa ating kapwa-tao o sa mga bagay sa mundong ito, walang mabuting mangyayari sa atin. Pero sabi ng Panginoon, yung taong nagtitiwala sa Diyos, parang halamang natanim sa tabi ng batisan, at yung kanyang mga ugat ay patungo sa tubig ng batis. Kahit nang magtag-init, hindi siya manghangamba. Kahit na hindi umulan, 
hindi siya mag-aalala dahil patuloy siyang magiging sariwa at mabunga. My dear brothers and sisters, let us see to it that we plant ourselves near the flowing stream of God. Let us set our thinking, our decisions, our values, and our attitudes aright. Itama natin yung ating pag-iisip, pagdidesisyon, at pagpapahalaga sa buhay. Magtiwala sa Diyos at tunay tayong magiging mapalad. Kapag hindi ka nagtiwala sa Diyos, kawawang kawawa tayo. And so today, my dear brothers and sisters, let us renew our trust in God. Muli nating ipagkatiwala ang ating sarili sa Panginoon. Mangako tayo sa Kanya na sa Kanya lamang tayo makikinig at susunod. Mangako tayo sa Kanya na sa Kanya lamang tayo maniniwala. At kapag ginawa natin yan, tunay tayong magiging mapalad. Let us strive to be blessed and not to be cursed. Sana ang ating sarili, ang ating pamilya, ang ating lipunan, at ang buong Pilipinas ay maging mapalad at hindi kawawa. Please all stand. Let us all together profess our faith. I believe in God, the, the Father, Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, He rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, He will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and a life everlasting. Amen. Rich and poor alike, God calls us together as sons and daughters of the Church. Let us pray to our Father with sincere hearts, and for every petition let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. For the Church under persecution, that the faith and sacraments may hold the people together. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For our nation, that the unemployed and the hungry may receive justice. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For believers who are hated and abused, that they may rejoice in the hope of resurrection. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all who are sick, especially those afflicted with COVID-19, and for those who care for them. May the vaccines and medicines, as well as our concern for each other, help end this pandemic. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the faithful departed, that our prayers and masses may help them to obtain the Lord's mercy. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. We pray in silence for our own petitions. We remember the people who need our prayers 
and the intentions offered in this Mass. Almighty God, we put our trust in you. Hear our petitions as you accept the sacrifice of your crucified and risen Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. Stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. May this oblation, O Lord, we pray, cleanse and renew us. And may it become for those who do your will the source of eternal reward through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for in you we live and move and, and have our being. And while in this body we not only experience the daily effects of your care, but even now possess the pledge of life eternal. For having received the first fruits of the Spirit, through whom you raised up Jesus from the dead, we hope for an everlasting share in the Paschal Mystery. And so with all the angels, we praise you as in joyful celebration, we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord God, God of hosts, hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please all kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, 
take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Jesus taught us to call God our Father, and so we have the courage to pray. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, 
who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am I'm not, not worthy, worthy that, that you should enter under my roof, but, but only, only say, say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Please stand. Let us pray. Having fed upon these heavenly delights, we pray, O Lord, that we may always long for that food by which we truly live, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat sa pagdalo sa ating misa ngayong umaga ng linggong ito. Maraming salamat po sa pagpunta sa Manila Cathedral, lalong-lalo na po sa mga kapatid natin na matyagang nagsisimba sa labas. Maraming salamat po sa inyo. We also wish to thank our brothers and sisters who are joining this Mass via online. Maraming salamat po sa inyong pakikisa sa ating pagdiriwang at sa inyong pakikibahagi bilang kasama sa komunidad ng Manila Cathedral at sa inyong mga tulong na ipinadadala sa amin. Maraming salamat din po sa ating mga staff and servants ng Manila Cathedral na naglilingkod sa ating misa ngayon. At nawa ay pagpalain po ng Panginoon itong bagong linggo na ating haharapin. Nawa ay tulungan tayo ng Diyos na magtiwala sa Kanya upang tayo'y tunay na tumanggap ng Kanyang pagpapala. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May Almighty God bless you in His kindness and pour out saving wisdom upon you now and forever. Amen. May He nourish you always with the teachings of the faith and make you persevere in holy deeds now and forever. Amen. May He turn your steps towards Himself and show you the path of charity and peace now and forever. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Amen. Mm -hmm.